Ms. Cruz, you are suing the Sharones for a refund for some earrings that you ordered from them. Is that right? Yes. And Mr. and Mrs. Sharon, your position is that she never came for these earrings and she owes you money for the unpaid balance. That's correct. Okay. When did you buy these earrings, ma'am? On in August of 2006. All right. You went into the jewelry store and what you wanted to get? I wanted to get hoop earrings. They were supposed to look like bones. Uh -huh. and, They're um, hoops? Yes. Okay. And my name was supposed to be across it with diamonds sporadic. Sharon in yeah. diamonds? Yes. Okay. And um, when I went into the establishment, they were very friendly and they, we discussed the matter um, and they said that they were able to do it. Um, she brought out her calculator, the lady that I dealt with. Was it either of these two people? Yes, it was the, the lady. The lady, Mrs. Mr. Sharon? Yes, and two other um, women that were there that were also working. Um, they brought out the calculator and they said that it would cost me almost $800, $758, and I said fine. Ms. Sharon, did you uh, agree that you could, uh, are these specially made earrings? Those are custom made earrings. Custom made? Did you agree that you could custom make the earrings that she wanted? Yes. And for how much money? $758. Do, do you have, have the earrings? Yes. I do. Let me see the earrings. Are those the earrings you ordered? No, they were supposed to be all with the complete silver and sporadic diamond points. Did you pick these earrings out of a book? Out of a catalog, yes. Okay. Do you have the catalog? Yes, I have the picture of what Okay, put the catalog on a telestrator for me. Okay, is this a this, catalog? This is the one. Okay, do you remember this? This is how it's supposed to look. With Where? The, Which one is it? The top corner on the left. Okay, but, but that's was, what this looks like. They, they look like the picture, but it was not what she and I had discussed. Ma'am, when you entered into this agreement with uh, the plaintiff, was there anything put in writing? Yeah, we have a receipt. Let deal. me see the receipt. Okay, did you get a copy of this receipt? Yes, I do have that receipt. All right, and in this receipt, I don't see anything about the silver. This is what I'm, I'm saying there was a misunderstanding because, as you see, it's not descriptive at all in the receipt. It doesn't say that they're bamboo, they're not just regular hooped earrings because there's different types of hoop earrings. Right. They don't say that it's my name on it, how it's spelled. They're not descriptive that there's any diamonds on it. Right. So this is just a generic receipt. I want to say this to you. Yes. It's the same as what I see in the catalog. The court calls Sharon Sanko. Please have a seat here. So you went to the store, mm -hmm. and did you speak to either one of these two people? Uh, no. Okay, you spoke to somebody in the store? Yes, ma'am. And did they give you, did they show you the earrings? Yes, I requested to see the earrings. Okay, take a look at one of these. Okay. Okay. Is that the earring that you were shown? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the earring you were shown? Yeah. Okay, so what did you do? Let me have the earring back. I called my daughter immediately. Okay. Right there. And I, I said to her, um, uh, the earrings don't have any diamonds. I said, did you just order them with diamonds? Did you just tell me that? She says, yeah, they're supposed to have diamonds all around the name. And I said, well, these don't have any diamonds at all. I have like a silver kind of, uh, some point of uh, indentation on the, on, the, um, on the name. Is right. what I said to her, I explained to her. My employee, she was in the store. Is she here? She's yeah. here, she's outside. Let's call her. Come forward, ma'am, and be sworn. Do you recognize this lady here, the plaintiff? Yes, I do. She ordered hoop earrings with her name in them. She wanted diamonds. I told her for the amount of money, this is the diamond she's gonna get. There's gonna be diamond cut in the earrings as well to make it look like there are more diamonds. We discussed that it was 14 karat gold, the size. She, sp she picked out a very specific earring from a catalog. It's the same exact thing that she picked out. And did the plaintiff come in to see the earrings? No, she did not. Who came in? Uh, nobody. Nobody came in? Nobody came in to see the earrings. And after a while, we did stop calling. After her mother had come into the store, we didn't want. So her mother did come into the store? After six months to a year, yeah. Did you ever bother to go down and take a look at these earrings yourself? After that, no. Okay, so you never saw what they made for you? No. It just seems to me mm -hmm. that the reasonable thing to have done was to actually go down there and look at these earrings. Yes, and I admit that Because it was my the era. problem I'm having with the case is that these earrings look exactly like the earrings in the picture. Yeah. I'm prepared to rule in your favor. Are you prepared to give this woman these earrings? Yes. 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 As to the plaintiff's cause of action, the court finds that the plaintiff has failed to meet her burden of proof and her action is dismissed. 
As to the defendant's countersuit in the amount of $333.62, it's granted. Good luck. Thank you.